And then it's going to be interesting to see what happens with some of the uh, sag after negotiations moving forward. Our contract is up for negotiation. There are a lot of issues surrounding artificial intelligence. Uh, I think animation is an area where AI could become exploited and compromised and uh, abused. Um, I hope that it doesn't. But of course, <laughs> You know, we all hope that it doesn't, but you never know. Um, it is a business where money often comes before creative creativity and uh, pure creative intent. So I, I can see the appeal of, while we don't need actors, we can just get robots to voice these characters. And... Um, because the thing is, is the technology is is getting shockingly good, but it's only shockingly good if you consider what acting is. Acting is not just reading. Acting is not just a vocal quality. There's so much more to it, as I mentioned before. There's, there's breath and gravity and intensity and heart and... Machines can't. There will always be something a little off. You know, animation, CG animation, you, you do see a little bit of that sometimes coming into play with, with the visuals. You'll see cycles of, of animation, right, that they'll plug in. And especially with, with sorry, I keep hitting this mic, um, cycles of background characters. And you start noticing patterns after a while. I have a feeling that that will eventually happen with voiceover if AI is being used. They'll try to, you know, create an algorithm that takes a breath every once in a while and makes it sound natural, but it's going to become predictable. And the one thing that humans are not is predictable. And yeah, you know, they can randomize it all they want to, but after a while, it's just going to feel stale. Now, granted, there are some people who don't care. Some people just don't hear it. But I don't know. There's a sixth sense that people have. Most people can tell if an actor is phoning it in or if they're not into it. You can certainly hear a smile on a microphone, mm -hmm. you know. Um, and I don't know if... AI will get to that point. But even if it does get to that point, I, I just I just would hate to think that we would be so quick to abandon humanity. So these are issues that are being hammered out. Um, yeah, I hope that, I mean, I can say, I hope that humanity isn't abandoned in favor of greed. But then I look at the world in which we live right now, and it, it, it's, 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 it's not looking too positive. But I have to hold out some shred of hope. Because all of the good things we've ever had in performance, especially in areas um, like animation, like puppetry, these Im truly imaginative places that you can go, you can do anything in these worlds. It's not robotic. It can't become robotic. It can't become an algorithm. It can't become something predictable. It's the same thing, you know, a lot of people think, oh, well, AI, we can use AI to determine if something's going to be a hit or not. Nobody can tell you what's going to be a hit or what's not. Because people are not predictable. We are humans. For better or for worse, we are flawed human beings. We are great and we are terrible. And that's what performers try to do, is reflect the best and the worst that humanity has to offer. You can't get that with ones and zeros. We're trying to hammer that out in negotiation, and hopefully the better angels will, will come out victorious, so we'll see.